Do you ever wonder how people make money on YouTube? Like every single day, week, month, you see people just flooding into YouTube, starting new YouTube channels, and you wonder, what is it that they're not telling us? Well, anyway, today we're gonna to be talking about how YouTubers make money, how you can also be able to start a YouTube channel and also make something for yourself. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and smash the red subscribe button and let's get on with the video. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Harris Kari. And as I said, we're gonna be talking about how YouTubers make money. Yeah, I know, I'm a YouTuber. So I'm gonna be exposing some of the things that we use to actually make something for ourselves using the YouTube platform. So without wasting any much of our time, let's just start. So YouTube has been in existence for almost two decades right Right now and over the years YouTube has gone through a lot of developments and growth and YouTube has been able to create and support the creator economy which is like people who have ideas in their mind that just want to have it out there but are kind of looking for a platform and looking for a way to do that so YouTube has been able to provide that platform has given you a, an opportunity to create a channel and start uploading videos sharing whatever it is that you have in your mind with other people as well so if you look at it the way i look at it i see youtube as an academy like youtube is just like a school it has a lot of courses a lot of departments a lot of faculties so it depends on what you want to learn or what you're looking for so you just go ahead and search on youtube and be able to find whatever it is that you want to learn or what, whatever it is i want to watch or entertain yourself with so it's all there for you and uh, you as well can be able to start if you're not already on youtube now that we're talking about making money on youtube i know some people might be like how can i be able to start a youtube channel what do i need so actually if you're thinking about something like that i have an entire channel dedicated to these kind of content so if you're interested in that and you want to learn and maybe just know a few things or more things about starting a youtube channel i'll have the link to my second channel in the description and also i'll link it up in the card up here so just go ahead and click it and subscribe to that channel as well then you know kind of browse and see all the videos that i have there as well so the first way that youtubers make money on youtube is by joining the youtube partner program when you're on YouTube and you reach a certain threshold on YouTube, you're able to include video ads into your own video so that when people watch the videos and they watch through that ad, YouTube pays you something for creating the content that people were able to watch the ad on. It might sound confusing anyway, but let me try and break this down. Imagine this. Companies create adverts that they want to advertise their company with and now they're looking for places to upload or places to put in their adverts. So YouTube now collects those ads and you create videos and posts on YouTube. So YouTube includes their ads within your videos. So whenever you get views on your video, people watch your videos and they watch that ad. That company pays a certain amount for a certain view that your video has gotten for their ads. So that is how Google AdSense work. So now how is this thing calculated? There is something called CPM on YouTube. That is cost per mil. Mil meaning 1000. So that is for every 1000 views that you get, there is a certain amount that YouTube is willing to pay you for getting views on those companies' ads. So depending on the niche that you create your videos in, like me, I create videos about personal finance. So if you create maybe comedy skits or maybe you create uh, vlog videos, so the amounts that we earn as a CPM might differ between the niches or the, between the categories of videos that we post on YouTube. So for example, just for example, I'm not saying this is it so let's say i make maybe like ten dollars per thousand views and maybe you make like vlog videos so it depends on the kind of uh, companies that want to advertise on the type of niche that you create videos on so maybe they are willing to like spend let's say five dollars per one thousand views let's say for like comedy skits maybe uh, you know there are like not much people that would want to advertise on comedy skits but i'm not trying to bash any niche or anything here i'm just saying so uh maybe they might be willing to pay like three dollars per one thousand views so that shows you that the niche that you decide to create your video in might differ and also kind of depend on the amounts that you will be able to earn from youtube so let's say for a thousand views i get uh ten dollars let's say for two thousand views that means i get twenty dollars and for like three thousand views i get thirty dollars so that's how it's calculated on the cpm so now what is the threshold that you need to reach to be able to start earning on youtube so for you to be able to join the youtube partner program you would need to have at least 1000 subscribers on youtube and also be able to gain at least 4000 
hours of watch time. That is, people would have to watch your videos for 4,000 hours within 365 days. That is within one year. So let me try and break down 4,000 hours of watch time for you. So if you do 4,000 times 60, which is like uh, the number of uh, minutes in an hour, that would give you 240,000 minutes. So people would have to watch your videos, like your general videos entirely for like 240,000 minutes within 365 days. So you see for that, you either have to create so many contents that people would have to watch through or you have to create just one content that would go viral, but you know, things don't just go viral on YouTube like that. So you have to at least be consistent, uploading videos, creating contents of value, things that people would really love to watch. If it's skits, if it's comedy, like do whatever it is that you want to do. You know, it depends on how long you can actually hold people to watch videos on your channel to be able to earn something for yourself on YouTube. So now the next one is affiliate marketing. So what is affiliate marketing? Affiliate marketing is you helping other companies or other people advertise their products directly on your channel. You know, so you add links in the description of your video and you send people to that link to go and buy whatever it is that you're trying to advertise. So the hack that YouTubers use is because you know, you need audience for affiliate marketing. And on YouTube, we consider subscribers as an audience. So if you talk about something, on your YouTube channel and your subscribers, maybe some other people that are not even subscribed to your channel, just view your video and enjoy what you talk about. They want to check and see what you're talking about in the description and they'll go ahead and click on the link. So what we do normally is we talk about a certain kind of product, maybe in the video. Let's say, for example, I want to advertise this microphone right now. This is a shotgun microphone by Panasonic. So I could maybe decide to talk about this type of microphone. And maybe, you know, when I kind of review it and show you how good it is and how you can actually use it. So instead of just talking about it, I could actually add a link in the description of my video and tell you if you also want to buy that same microphone and also try it for yourself you can go ahead and just click on that link and be able to buy it directly so some people might say you know affiliate marketing is not really worth it so if you're selling like maybe a very low ticket uh product like maybe the microphone let's say if it goes for like ten thousand naira, and maybe let's say i'm uh, doing the affiliate marketing for from like jumia or conga so let's say they're going to be paying me mm, maybe uh nine percent ten percent of the amount so ten percent of ten thousand naira would be like one thousand naira. so some people might say that's not worth it but just imagine if like 10 people or maybe like 50 people out of like let's say 100 people that view the video and let's say like 50 or 20 people would like to buy this thing so 20 people buy the same uh, products worth 10,000 naira that's like 200,000 naira so just imagine how much is 10 percent of 200,000 naira that's like i think almost 20,000 so 20,000 is worth it you know so it, it's, just, it's just like from you creating a video that you paid nothing for you just shot a video reviewed a microphone and uploaded it there and people got interest in the microphone and they decided to buy it so that's kind of like free work and earning something for yourself from that a lot of people stigmatize affiliate marketing by calling it a scam but affiliate marketing is of different types and uh, i really assure you that it is not a scam some people might use affiliate marketing for wrong reasons but affiliate marketing is a very legit mode of making money and also the type of products you sell on affiliate marketing could be a one-time sale products like maybe this microphone maybe people just want to buy the microphone and use it so once they buy it they won't just keep on buying microphones like you know, <laughs> you know one person won't just like keep on buying microphones every month or you know, maybe like uh, buy 10 microphones what would they do with that unless they're trying to do a giveaway or something i don't know apart from the one-time payments for affiliate marketing there's also the subscription based affiliate marketing so that is mostly related with like softwares let's say maybe for example I use this software to uh, enhance my YouTube or help me manage my YouTube or let me say these two softwares TubeBuddy and vidIQ these are softwares that I use to help manage my YouTube channel let's say I advertise these softwares to you and I add the links to them in the description of this video which I actually did I clicked on the softwares I maybe decided to use the softwares even though they have a free version of them you could actually use them for free and enjoy a lot of things there's actually a lot of more privileges that you get to use or earn from the pro version when you decide to buy the softwares because they help you a lot on your YouTube journey.
So for affiliate marketing, there's nothing like a threshold for you to reach before you start uploading or start adding links to your description. You could have zero subscribers and still add links to your videos. And then, you know, eventually when people start watching your videos, maybe the little people that you have watching the videos, even though they're not subscribed and decide to buy whatever it is that you advertise, you still earn that affiliate commission. Anyway, so that's how you earn with affiliate marketing on YouTube. So the next one is brand deals. This is just you reaching out to companies or companies reaching out to you asking you to create a dedicated video for them so they will pay you in full for creating the video for them so when it comes to brand deals it actually depends on you maybe you have a certain amount of audience maybe you have a certain size of audience so maybe the company kind of view their videos check their channel and they're kind of interested in what you talk about so they reach out to you and say maybe they want you to talk about their products maybe talk about their app talk about whatever it is that they want to advertise so now you maybe make a shout out for them or maybe you kind of make a dedicated video for them to explain the products and talk about it you know it depends on how the brand uh, wants to do the business with you so you and the company decide what it is that you're going to talk about in the video how much they're going to pay you and when they're going to be paying you maybe if it's going to be a continuous kind of business so it depends on you and the company sometimes small youtubers actually get the opportunity to work with brands you know it depends on your niche that's why niching down is kind of important on youtube because when you niche down in your videos like you talk about a very specific niche a very specific category of something when the company comes in and they notice that this is what they want like you are actually talking about the specific thing that they're uh, marketing or they're advertising maybe the product that they're trying to sell so you see the company won't have any second thought about that they'll just go ahead and reach out to you like you know we need you to talk about this let's say for example you're kind of a beauty and lifestyle uh, vlogger beauty and lifestyle content creators maybe you do videos about cosmetics and all these makeup things so maybe now a lipstick brand that is just kind of coming up so they just saw your videos and they're like yeah this person talks about lipsticks this person talks about mascara this person talks about cosmetics maybe in general so they what they just reach out to you and uh, ask you to maybe create a video and advertise their lipsticks maybe they send you that lipstick for free sometimes companies decide to send you a product that they're trying to advertise for free so you can be able to use and review it on your videos and some other companies prefer to just pay you money upfront for you to be able to make a video and talk about their products or maybe they send you the product and still pay you the money it just depends on the type of company that you're working with or maybe their capacity so another way that youtubers make money is by membership programs currently youtube runs a certain kind of membership program like you know when you monetize your channel and you have some access and maybe you kind of reach a certain threshold you can be able to turn on membership for your channel so once people subscribe to your channel it also shows them join so when they click on that join button it actually registers them in a membership program for your channel so they're kind of maybe you can be able to set like different categories of payment that people will be able to register for the membership on your page and also maybe they kind of have different privileges maybe the one with the minimum privilege would have maybe some kind of uh, you know extra video that you release every week or maybe kind of daily and the next person might have maybe even some stickers so apart from the YouTube membership program there are also platforms like patreon where people are also able to register as members of your circle so they just register with certain amounts like you can be able to classify you know how much they will pay depending on the category that they choose to register on so for the membership if you use platforms like youtube or patreon then you know you would have to like share some certain amounts with the platform as well because you are hosting your membership program on their platform but at least at the same time you get to earn the higher percentage of whatever amounts that your viewers or your members would be paying and now moving on to the next one sell your merchandise so this is kind of easy i actually have videos about this well without saying anything this is an example of a merchandise this is a t-shirt that i designed myself and i have a store with a lot of other designs on t-shirts that if you're interested in you can just go ahead and click on the link to my store in the description of this video and go ahead and buy it so that is how youtubers also sell their merchandise we design things using just our skills and graphics design and other stuff like that and we just talk about them 
in our videos and uh, you know we just kind of try to get people to be interested in there's so many things that you could actually create as merchandise and sell it to your audience it could be t-shirts it could be caps it could be mugs you know it just depends on whatever it is that you want to create and there's so many platforms that you can be able to create all these merchandise for free so you can be able to advertise them on your youtube page and people now get interested in whatever it is that you're talking about and they just decide to click on the link and support you buy whatever it is that you're trying to sell as a merchandise so this one could be you creating for free on other platforms and maybe just marketing and selling maybe that way you kind of earn a percentage from that platform or it could be you actually designing and printing then shipping to people so it depends on whatever it is that you want to do and now the next one similar to selling a merch you sell your products so maybe you have a cooking channel and you have a lot of audience that love your recipes and uh, you know you always talk about your recipes how to cook whatever it is that you always cook on your channel so you decide to create a cookbook so now you sell that cookbook as a product a digital product so anyone who wants to get the cookbook could just go ahead and click on the link in the description you know i know you guys would be kind of tired of hearing the links in the description but that's how you actually sell so you add the link in the description once maybe someone goes there they now click on the link it takes them to where they're going to pay then you send them the uh, digital file or digital products of the uh, cookbook selling a product kind of differs you know it could be a digital product it could also be a physical product it depends on what you want to sell so you could just advertise it on your youtube video and now last but not the least it is also kind of selling a product as well but it's a little bit kind of different and this is creating a course so you have a certain skill that you maybe kind of talk about on youtube or you don't even talk about it on youtube you just have the skill in your head and you're just moving around with the skill in your head and your head is kind of swelling up like gravitina so what if i tell you that you could actually make something from that skill that you have in your head so you actually just plan and organize whatever skill that you have in your head create a certain digital course with videos text books you know whatever it is that you want to create it with but most of the times we use videos and they're actually platforms that you can be able to create all these courses on and have them maybe you said they're for free and some maybe you have to pay but at the same time you just let people know in your videos that you have a certain course and certain something so if they want to buy it or maybe if they want to gain the knowledge they could just go ahead and buy the course by clicking the link in your description you know just take them there and uh, when they buy the courses you make money from that as well so if you have any other method that i haven't mentioned in this video please let me know in the comment section what that method is and also if you have any question just drop it in the comment section so thank you so much guys for watching this video and just let me know if you like this video please go ahead and smash the like button and also if you are interested in these kind of content or maybe you really want to learn more about these kind of things just go ahead and smash the red subscribe button right there and i'll see you in the very next video thank you so much guys and uh peace